Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Best and Intuitive Tarot, and in today's reading, I'm taking a look at Taurus's love life, and I'm also going to take a peek at your finances as well. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, happy to have you here. If you could please hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell, I would greatly appreciate it. If you feel like you're resonating with this reading and you want me to get extra, extra nosy, I will also provide the link to the extended pinned at the top of the comments where you will also find the link to my website if you would like to book a private reading with me. However, I am closing private reading at the end of the month as I am flying up to New England to pick up my sister Frankie from Frankie's Tarot as I'm helping her move down to Florida to be closer to me. So with that being said, let's begin. I'm doing my readings a little bit differently this week. Um, just working with an overall energy and then I'm just going to channel throughout the, the reading with my intuition, okay? I'm going to first start off with just getting a quick check-in on your finances and then we're going to move into the love. Alright, so what's the overall energy for a Taurus in their finances, please? What's their overall energy looking like? The Ace of Wands and the Page of Swords on the bottom. Taurus, you may be coming up with a new idea on how to make more money. You might be thinking about how to reformat the business you already have. Or you're thinking about how to approach your employer with possibly a position, you know, an advancement, moving from one department to the next, things like that. But with the Ace of Wands being here, this is telling me that you're being more creative right now in regards to how to make money. All right, you're thinking outside of the box. You're using your creativity versus your emotions versus your intellect. All right, you're possibly wanting to start something that is more artsy, more um, more shows your your playful creative side. Maybe um, you're going to make homemade candles. Maybe you're going to, you know, open up an Etsy shop and make jewelry. Maybe um, you're going to work on, you know, restoring old cars, collecting a bunch of old cars, old Corvettes, old, you know, Model T cars and restoring them to sell them for profit. There's something you're starting that's going to be very creative and you're still in that thinking process right now. You're still thinking about how to get it started, how to execute this idea that you have in your head with the Page of Swords. You're still thinking about it, so it hasn't been started yet because the Page of Swords is all about researching, thinking, thinking it through, looking at the prerequisites to have this start, but you're feeling revved up and ready to go with that Ace of Wands because you are thinking long term with your finances with the Ten of Pentacles. You're thinking about your family legacy. All right, whatever you're starting, it's going to bring you a lot of money, Taurus. A lot of freaking money. I'm picking up on a lot of Tauruses who are now making money off of what whatever they feel creative about. Okay? Whatever you feel is a fun hobby right now, you can monetize off of that. There's always an audience. There's always an audience for something. Whatever you feel passionate about, Taurus, someone's going to want to help support that passion. If you like to make freaking clay bowls for freaking plants, there's people out there that would love that. If you like making birdhouses, people will want to buy that. If it's something that you show you have a lot of passion and a lot of love for, people will like to encourage that because it makes people feel good to help support someone who is feeling good about their skill. So whatever this is, it's going to bring you a lot of money with the Ten of Pentacles, a lot of financial success, a lot of stability, money to put away in your 401k, money to put away for a vacation, money to put away for your retirement, and it's going to be doing something you friggin' love. So whatever you're thinking about right now, Taurus, whatever is on your mind right now, navigate it. Navigate because Spirit is definitely saying, go for it. Go for it because you're going to reap the rewards tenfold with that Ten of Pentacles. All right? There it is, the Eight of Pentacles. This is you working on your craft. This is you head down trying to, you know, fine tune something. Learn more about this skill. So if you just started painting, you're possibly learning how to, you know, paint better, paint more uh, art, artsy stuff, or paint cartoons. You're you're definitely learning how to make more, more. Um, you're definitely fine-tuning your skill, whatever it is, and I'm happy for you. And you're manifesting a new career, a new career where you're working for yourself. And it's going to bring you a lot of freaking money, but you're in your head about it, Taurus. You're in your head about it because you're into mindsets right now. I have a job right now. It's more stable. How do I take this risk? How do I take this risk to go for what I feel passionate about? 2020 taught a lot of people a lot about you know, not working for nine to fives, corporations, things like that. The quarantine, the pandemic forced a lot of people to stay at home where they couldn't work. 
to where they had no choice but to start making money in other areas. They started making money online. They started making more money doing things that they enjoy and turning hobbies into monetization. Everyone should be allowed to make money off of stuff that they feel happy about. Nobody should go to work miserable. Nobody should go to work miserable, Taurus. And you are finding some sort of way to have fun with your work. And I'm proud of you. You just need to put in that, you need to put in that sweat. You need to put in that sweat because the dividends are gonna freaking outweigh all that sweat. All right, so keep on, keep on keeping on, okay? So, whew, what is going on with Taurus's love life? You know what, if that's your energy for your career and finances, Taurus, I would say don't even worry about love right now. Stay focused on your stability, focus on your work. But for those of you who also have love, you've got some choices with that seven of cups or you're feeling like there's a lot of options out there and you're trying to narrow it down to one or you feel like someone is putting you in that component, that little compartment of having options. Tell me more about that Seven of Cups. Why is that Seven of Cups the overall energy for Taurus's love reading? Why is the Seven of Cups the overall energy for Taurus's love reading? The Four of Wands and the Three of Swords. There could have been a recent breakup between you and a committed partner, all right? Or you are in a third party situation with someone already in a commitment and you may be learning about this you might not already know about this that this person was st still in a situation and for some this person uh confused you and didn't let you know that they were still recovering from a commitment and they weren't ready to be emotionally available to you just yet all right so i feel like there's some hard hard truths coming up involving a potential um marriage that's still on the table a commitment that's still on the table where someone hasn't completely healed from that and they you know they were confused about their emotions or you are already well aware that you are entertaining someone who is still in another situation all right but there's a lot of attention coming towards you with that six of wands you could be connecting to a leo a leo who may be keeping the connection stagnant with the hangman pisces energy needing to release something whether they need to release someone from their past whether they're in their physical vicinity or just taking up emotional space, this person needs to release something. And it doesn't have to be a Leo, okay? I'm just saying there is heavy Leo energy here. Someone needs to take control. Someone needs to take action with the Emperor. You could be connecting to an Aries or someone in the military or someone in law enforcement, someone who is an entrepreneur, an independent contractor, someone who um, is well-respected within their career. Um, they're definitely respected and they're really controlling their emotions right now, but there's some sort of risk being taken. There's some sort of risk being taken and it's going to come as a shock to somebody, whether it's going to come to a shock to the people in their environment or the people that they are dealing with, but it's some sort of risk involving you, some sort of risk involving you, okay? Because there is love here. There is a soulmate connection. So there might be a choice between two people. And if this person's not dealing with anybody, Taurus, they are still healing from a breakup. They're still healing from the loss of a spouse, or they're still healing from something from their past involving a commitment. And they're trying to make a decision to move on from that, to have this new start with you. Okay. Yeah. The five of cups, they're still mourning the loss of someone, but they're wanting to give it a go with you. I'll get some more clarifiers on this. So don't worry. Okay, they're mourning the loss of a commitment. They're, they're mourning the loss of a uh, companionship. They're mourning the loss of a family. There's something going on with your person. I feel like now that I'm digging into it, I feel like this third party situation isn't someone that's actually involved. It's someone that was involved. There's the world. Some sort of cycle needs to close because this person's developing emotions with the King of Cups. But in order to have this new start with you with the Fool, they need to close out a major life cycle. A karmic cycle that no longer serves them anymore. It had its, surf it had its purpose in the past, but now it's just holding them back. Whatever this is, it's holding them back from being in a new, in new environment, a new relationship. Because there is feelings being developed. Okay? So let me get some extra clarity. I want to know more about this three of swords because now that I'm digging into the meat and potatoes I'm I definitely feel like there's not another person in this person's life right now it's someone from the past someone that they haven't let go of but then we have the moon on the bottom cancer Pisces energy there are hidden feelings here feelings that haven't been expressed yet due to someone's confusion what's the seven of cups about what's the seven of cups about seven of cups Thanks for the clarity, Spirit. I asked you to give me clarity on the Seven of Cups, and you give me the Seven of Cups. Gotcha. The Seven of Cups. Someone's confused. 
all right, involving a long-term commitment with the Ten of Pentacles. It looks to me like someone wants a commitment with you, but they're confused if they are ready or not because they're still dealing with some heartache from something from their past. But there is an offer that they want to bestow on you. Give me more on that Three of Swords with the Four of Wands. Give me more on that Three of Swords with the Four of Wands. The friggin' Moon and the Nine of Swords. They're needing to face some sort of fear. They're having a lot of sleepless nights. They're suffering from a lot of grief, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. They're in their head a lot. This is supposed to be a sleeping cat, but look, all those little images are nightmares interfering its restful sleep because of all these hidden feelings, these hidden secrets that they are suppressing. You know, it's a ticking time bomb when you have hidden emotions. You've got to let them out. You gotta let them out. And someone here is stressing about all of these emotions that they're keeping inside due to some heartache, some sort of heartache. Could have been the mother of their child, the father of their child that they're still holding on heart space to. Give me more on that Three of Swords. Give me more on that Three of Swords. Give me more on that Three of Swords, please. The Taurus is love reading. What's this Three of Swords about? The Emperor again, Four of Pentacles. Someone's got a blocked heart chakra. They're not letting you inside right now with the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. It's all about having a blocked heart chakra and just focusing your energy on money. Ignoring love and focusing on money, all right? And controlling their emotions with the Emperor again. And now I have the Emperor and the Empress. There is a divine partnership here, all right? And for some, this is you with the Four of Pentacles because this person's not opening up about how they feel. You're throwing your energy into your money, which is looking good for you, so keep at it, okay? But someone is definitely holding on to their emotions even though they feel them so freaking deeply with the King of Cups. If you've got the King of Cups energy in your reading, that's freaking love that someone has, but they're not wearing their heart on their sleeve because that's what the King of Cups does. They feel it so intensely, but they don't wear them on their sleeve. You have to really look inside the eyes of the King of Cups to know exactly how they feel. Their eyes are their window to their soul. And you got the King of Cups twice. Heavy Pisces, but also could be Cancer Scorpio. Someone here has deep, real emotions, but they are suppressing them. And when you're dealing with a water sign or anybody with King of Cup energies in their system, it's a ticking time bomb. It's a ticking time bomb. Look at all that. You can't have so much love for someone and not express it. It drives you insane. It drives you mad. It, it like haunts you. It's like spirit is haunting this person with images of you, images of everything that they fear, every, everything that they are ignoring. You can't ignore it. You can't ignore it. Some sort of shock is coming with that tower, and I'm going to get a clarifier on that in a second. So the Seven of Pentacles is here. Someone's waiting on the right time, the right moment, the right, the right course of action is to be taken here with that Seven of Pentacles. Someone wants to invest in their future, but they allowed something to become a missed opportunity with the Four of Cups. Cancer energy, and when I when I look at this four of cups, I see the four of cups differently than how than how I see the four of cups in any other deck that I have. Other decks, I would see the four of cups as someone bored, disinterested, things like that, not really enjoying the offer that's being bestowed on them. But in this deck, I see this person as depressed, sad, lethargic, mourning the loss of someone, mourning the loss of a relationship, scared of love. Sick of being burned. Not feeling ready to ex expose their heart again. In fear of rejection. In fear of being, you know, broken again. This could be you, Taurus. But I feel like this is your person. They don't want to get hurt again. So they, like, guard their heart and throw it into their finances. Throw themselves into what they're feeling passionate about. Someone is guarding. Okay. The Nine of Cups. This person's quiet, just like this quiet little sleeping cat. But look what's in their thoughts. Wish fulfillment. Keeping something stagnant. Hangman energy, Pisces. Give me something on that tower. What's this tower shit all about? What's this tower about? The Nine of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Some, some wall is coming down. This tower is knocking down this wall that this person has with the Nine of Wands. This is the Nine of Wands energy. This is having your guard up. Allowing someone to touch the surface level of your life, but not climbing over the wall to get inside the heart. This person was guarding it. But the Ten of Cups is right behind it. Right behind that wall is the Ten of Cups. So something's coming as a shock to someone, and there's going to be a moment where someone needs to shit or get off the pot with the Judgment card, Scorpio energy. The judgment energy is that time when universe steps in and says, you need to make a decision. Now or never, make a decision. 
what will it be? A missed opportunity or are you going to open up now or never? Otherwise, I am going to force this tower to fall. And you're going to have a missed opportunity is what universe will say to this person. Whoever is holding back their emotions and not opening up, they're going to be guided by universe to step up and say what they want. Otherwise, it will be something that they're going to live to regret for the rest of their life. And have a lot of heartache with the Three of Swords. A lot of heartache. If that was me, I'd be like, I love you. <laughs> I don't want that freaking life of heartache. So what's this uh, judgment about? Give me more on this judgment. The chariot. Pushing forward and saying exactly what you want to say to the King of Pentacles. Taurus energy. You may be a business owner, Taurus, or you've got money on your mind and you're building your empire. You're looking really good and stable. This person wants to hop onto that stable train. They're coming towards you. They could be at a distance from you right now, or there's age that's a difference, difference in race, but they're coming towards you with that judgment. That judgment is stepping up and saying, hey, make a decision, and this person's choosing to make an action made. All right, give me more on this Five of Cups. And as I say that, I see the star healing, still recovering, mourning the loss of a person, mourning the loss of a job, mourning the loss of um, one stability, mourning the loss of maybe a family member, a, a pet. That Five of Cups can be endless. There, It doesn't have to be someone mourning the loss of, of a person. All right, but the fact that I see the Three of Swords with the Four of Wands definitely tells me that there was a partnership that broke this person's heart, whether it was a business partnership, a marriage, a commitment, someone that lived with them inside their home, maybe a pet that they had in their home. It's something that is something that this person was very emotionally attached to is what they're crying over, sad over, not seeing that there's still two cups being presented. Give me a card on that five of cups, please. Heavy Scorpio energy here. Heavy Cancer. I got heavy Leo. I got Pisces. The Tower. That tower is coming to crash. The universe is stepping in and saying, no, Moss, you have to make up a decision. All right? A clear decision because there's going to be a cut made with that Queen of Swords. A clear decision with the Two of Swords. Libra energy. Now or never. No more wishy-washiness. Do you want this new start or do you not with the Ace of Pentacles? Your money's looking good, Taurus. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. So... Anything else? Give me more on that King of Cups, please. Give me more on that King of Cups. Six of Swords, moving on to Kama Waters, finding that balance, finding that harmony, moving on from conflict, no longer wanting conflict, getting sick of conflict, sick of stress, sick of anxiety, and wanting happiness, wanting balance, wanting it all. Look at that eye of the tiger right there. Someone is charging forward and wanting victory and success. Let me get some Romance Angels. I open up to the Fool card and the Eight of Swords. Someone is freeing themselves from self-sabotage and just going with the flow and trusting the process with the Fool card. A new journey. Aquarius energy. Could be in Aquarius season. What is the overall energy for Taurus in this love situation, please? What is the overall energy for Taurus in their love situation? Oh, that Free Yourself came out again. You guys, <laughs> there are no accents in tarot. That card was like, no, bitch, you're going to show me again. Someone's getting out of that hamster wheel. I feel like I had something like that with you on a previous reading. It, it was either the last one I did or the one before that. Where someone kept you on a hamster wheel where you were exerting all this energy and not getting any anywhere. Not making any progress. No, no traction with this person because they weren't making the effort. But now it looks like someone's making the effort with the Eight of Pentacles. Any great love is worth taking the steps you were guided to take. Yes, this is your soulmate, Taurus. You have already met your soulmate. You have intense chemistry with the lover's energy, sign of Gemini. And keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from usual type and expectations. Like I said with the chariot, definitely could be an age gap, a difference in race, a difference in culture, a difference in handling how you grieve and how you open up love, how you handle love, life, situations. People don't handle things the same way and they don't process things the same way. But yet you called in your soulmate. Your prayers, visualizations, and faith brought you this person, Taurus. But for the most part, if this person doesn't give you what you're looking for, work on your money. That opening reading for your career was phenomenal. Whatever you are passionate about, monetize that. If you like to put on makeup, start a YouTube channel doing makeup tutorials. 
whatever makes you happy and makes you feel passionate and brings out your passionate and creative side, Spirit really wants you to find a way to monetize that. People will support things that people are passionate about. So if this resonated, I'll dig deeper into your person and find out more about why they were holding back from you and what's what they're going to be doing and how you're going to re react to that. But if this is where I leave you. I freaking love you, Taurus. Please hit like, subscribe, and share. Take care. Bye.